What is up guys? Welcome back to the Lumsden Motorsports Garage. I'm Wade Lumsden and uh, yeah, today is Sunday. Uh, we ha finally have the trailer with the car in it. Um, back at the house, as you can see, I've got a lot of uh, like space clearing out that I'm doing. Got stuff all over the place. I took put the brake table outside. I got a whole bunch of other stuff sitting over here. Um, yeah, it's a matter of playing Tetris and trying to figure out uh, where things are going to go uh, while I do certain projects. So, um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful working with limited amounts of room, but hey, we make it work. Um, it is a hot one today. I don't know if you can see that up there, but I think that is reading 92 degrees and that's in the shade inside my house. So, um, I've been coming out and doing as much as I can uh, and, and then go in and cool off and then come out and do as much as I can and go in and cool off but uh, now it's time to get the car out of the trailer and uh, really start getting to work. All right, car is out of the trailer. Um, yeah, what well, we got to we got to work with what's left over. <laughs> and see, uh, we got pretty crushed up up here. Doors pretty much ruined. So yeah, definitely time for a body. Um, now that there's more light, you can see the Wowie in my bracket, my four bar bracket. Um, yeah, I don't know, they're both bent. Hey, they're both bent. Uh, so I don't know if there's anything else up there, bent, broke, cracked, whatever. Um, we get the body off and we'll take a look. Of course, the T-bar that's been bent up for a while now. Yeah, um, here we are. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the car washed off, wash off as much mud and stuff that's underneath it. Um, and then it's the process of stripping it, but I also have to, of course, get uh, the truck and trailer all put away um, and all the stuff that I pulled out to be able to get the car in I got to get all that stuff pulled put away so yep that's where we're at for right now uh, I'm gonna go inside and cool off because uh, it's toasty warm and then I'll come out and uh, take care of some more stuff all right so most of the body panels are off of the car here um, still got to figure out how I'm gonna get the nose off that's pretty folded over the bolts um, I have this feeling I'm gonna end up cutting the bumper just to tweak that back so that I can get to the bolts and then cut the bumper <laughs> try to pull this back get some of the sheet metal out so that I can get to the bolts from the inside yeah I don't know we'll get the, the nose off um, but that's gonna be the big issue I think um, not a hundred percent sure here but this might be bent or stretched um, kind of in the downward angle I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure but that Wowie in there is definitely not supposed to be there uh, yeah so broken stuff lots of broken stuff um, like I said we started the body disassembly um, all of that stuff is sitting over there we'll probably just finish stripping the rest of this after I get it into the garage um, and go from there I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do as far as deck I think 
I'm thinking about replacing every last bit of it, but some of it's still in good shape, right? Like this piece and this piece is still in good shape. Um, the rest of it has definitely seen better days. Uh, replacing some of the support pieces that obviously are broke off now. Um, and then I, the T-bar stuff that we talked about. Um, I, this seems to be a common deal here um, with the T-bar getting bent, but you can see mine's been repaired, 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 you know, um, patched together. I'm sure I've beat it down a lot before. Um, so I'd like to get something kind of modular going on back here for that stuff. Um, we'll see how that works out. And then uh, I'd also like to make it to where it's adjustable for height. Uh, this is what I was talking about for um, adjustable for height. I had a bolt hole here. As you can see it's down touching right there, touching the chassis. I have another bolt hole that's actually a little bit lower so I can raise this up that much. But I, I ended up having to drop the deck after I was, you know, doing some stuff, adjusting some stuff. Um, so I'd like to make this adjustable at least up to like an inch and a half, an inch maybe, at least an inch, get it in the ballpark and then an inch of adjustment or two inches of adjustment would be cool. Uh, thank you guys for all your suggestions. Um, still, I still haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do, uh, but I think I have, a, have an idea. Um, and yeah, I got a little bit of time, not a whole lot of time. Got a little bit of time. Um, this uh, this brake setup that I have here is not like a normal brake, right? Um, I kind of show you here, but I end up having to use C clamps on the corners here. This is a homemade jobby, and uh, having to use C clamps. Sometimes it clamps good, sometimes it don't clamp good. Um, yeah, with you know what would take you five minutes uh, with a normal break uh, takes you about 15 to 20 minutes so um, still very labor intensive um, and a lot of time to be able to use this break but it's stick still a heck of a lot better than like trying to do it all by hand you know creasing it all by by hand and hammer and all you know this at least gets the main crease before i have to go back and hammer it closed um so we're going to continue on here i'll get the car in the shop uh here shortly and then i gotta finish uh yeah i gotta finish cleaning up the chaos that i created outside so back to work all right that's what we did ended up uh cutting this off cutting that off it was so twinged up I had to actually cut it in a couple different spots the amount of pressure that was on these tubes um, and then actually this whole after I got that bolted unbolted on that side this whole thing just dropped out um, this one's still stuck on here there we go it was just skewered onto that uh, horn is not in the greatest shape in the world but uh, then again what is on this chassis at this point yeah this thing is <laughs> all messed up there that's awesome <laughs> okay well I guess we're gonna have to see what we're gonna do up here Please. oh well uh, get some more looking but we'll do that uh, now that I've got it mostly torn apart and uh, get it shoved in the garage and continue on um, I know there's lots of light but it's actually yeah it's actually getting pretty late so get it my mess cleaned up out here and then get it shoved in the garage all right guys um, table is currently tethered off so it doesn't I don't know if you guys have ever been able to tell but my my driveway is actually pretty steep uh, <laughs> which makes it a real pain to push things in and out of it but uh, the table likes to roll away it's even got a flat spot on one of the wheels and it still likes to roll away so uh, 
got it t got it uh, tied up a little bit. Um, car is now in the garage. Um, got all of our metal to start doing a body. Uh, with all this bent stuff, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, the bends here, the bends back there. That's obviously uh, obviously not good stuff, right? So. Uh, I'm glad we got some time to try to figure it out, but ouch. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say about that is ouch. Um, <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm going to try to address the bent stuff first, or if I'm going to go ahead and start trying to hash out a body. I still got to finish taking off the deck and, um, all of that happy stuff, but, uh, we will we'll see i don't know again i don't know if i'm going to address the bent stuff first the body first or a mixture of all of the above kind of just depends on what uh time allows and um where my focus can be and all that happy stuff and uh like i said i want to try to do some stuff back here with the t-bar and yeah so <laughs> That's where we're at. Um, looking forward to get actually getting started on this stuff this week. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions, comments, concerns down below. Lumsden Motorsports Facebook page. Uh, still got t-shirts. Reach out for those. And my brother's not here, so keep the dirty side down. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.